music that we are playing is music from the Middle East and North Africa. It is music of the sacred tradition of the three Abrahamic faiths, music from the Jewish tradition, the Christian Middle Eastern tradition, and the uh, Sufi Muslim tradition of the Middle East. Sufi is considered the mystical path of Islam. It's a path of the heart. It's, it's considered the, the religion of love and the school of love is one of those uh, streams within Sufism. The songs from the Sufi tradition have a special quality to them. They, they are made of specific kind of musical scales. And these scales very often evoke the feeling of lament and longing, uh, feelings of deep love. There's also an element of repetition as the music repeats and gets faster and faster and faster and faster, it creates trance. And as the song progresses and as the, that trance, that ritual progresses, the individual loses individuality, hopefully, and becoming more and more and more and more aware. The element of the wholeness, the whole of creation, slowly becomes more dominant than the consciousness of being an individual separated from the rest of creation. Dervish uh, that we're working with, his name is Aziz, and he um, he's a Sufi Dervish that is a member of the Mivlavi and the International Sufi Order, and he chose wheeling or turning to be his spiritual path. That is how he prays, that's how he meditates through this very unique movement. He chose wheeling as his path of devotion and, and, and spiritual path and search. I, I've seen many dervishes, uh, but I, I never seen somebody like him. He, he has a, uh, a certain intensity and, and ability. He prays in that ceremony. He, he does ch chanting of the name of God throughout the turning. He's, he's able to express himself and this prayer and this search in variety of movement. He, he inspires us. When, when we play and he turns, we play differently. Even if it's the same song, the same very song with the same very musicians, when Aziz is turning, it brings something out of us. I feel incredibly lucky and, and very rich to have music in my life, because music is a comfort, it's a friend that is always, that is always there. You know, it's a constant, beautiful soundtrack to life. And it's a great way of communication, of relating to people. It's a great bridge. It's a, music is, has provided me with bridge to people that I may never have met before. It, it, it created a bridge between me and people that speak different languages that I cannot understand and they cannot speak my language. A big part of my work is bringing 
artists from different cultures together on stage and bring the audience together bringing all these people from different backgrounds people who walked into the concert hall not looking at each other in the eye bring them together into singing one song in one voice or clapping to the beat of one song together for me this is a transformative experience because that melts the heart it melts the barriers around the heart it, it melts the defenses and the guards that people have around themselves. And very often, at the end of a concert, these people that came in as strangers suddenly look at each other in the eye and they smile to each other. They smile to people that sit next to them and suddenly they feel something in common. They feel something warm to those people and they talk to, to these people. You know, my, my hope uh, is that music will have increasing impact on the world. I, I would like to see music affecting more people on, on the scale of communities and in politics, on, on changing people's minds, on leading people to the right conclusions about what's good for the planet and what's good for, for the people. And, and I think that if more musicians and good musicians would have that intention, the, their music will make more impact on changing our world to go to a better place.